And it's much like the parable of the Jade Master. And there's this young guy. He's thinking to himself, you know, I'm doing these menial jobs. I can't really do well. I heard about this old guy on the other side of the mountain. And he's a Jade Master. I'm going to be a Jade Master. That's going to be my profession. And I will be able to live well because that's a profession that will pay me. So he goes on a long journey. Finds his way to the Jade Master's home and knocks on the door. Small man opens the door up and says, hey, I want to be a Jade Master. And the old man smiles and says, please come in. So they sit down, they start talking to one another. And the young man says, I want to be a Jade Master. So the old man gets up, walks across the room, opens up a little box on a shelf, reaches in, takes something out, and tells the young man to hold his hand open. He says, which hand? He goes, are you right-handed or left-handed? Young man says, I'm right-handed. He says, open up your right hand. The young man opens up his right hand outstretched, and the old man presses a green stone into his palm and tells him to close his hand around the stone and hold it. Don't put it down. And he sits down and starts talking to him about things that have nothing to do with Jade. Talks to him about things that he did when he was younger. Stories that led to wisdom. Talks about things that the old man had to do around his own house and suggested that he would have to do some of those things if he wanted to be trained. So he told him, look, here's the broom. I want you to start sweeping up. The young man looked at him strangely, but took the broom from him nonetheless and started sweeping. And about 20, 30 minutes goes by and he says, listen, I came here to learn how to be a jade master. I didn't come here to sweep your house. I'm not your servant. And the old man says, please, give me the broom. Give me the stone. It's time for you to go home. Come back next week. So the young man, a little disoriented and confused, shrugs his shoulders and walks out the door. A week goes by, comes back, knocks on the door again. The old man greets him and says, come on in. He goes to the same box, picks up that same green stone, tells him to open up his hand, presses the green stone in his palm, and starts telling him about tree frogs. And right away the young man says, listen, Maybe we're not understanding each other. I didn't come here to learn about frogs. I didn't come here to sweep your house or listen to your stories that have nothing to do with becoming a jade master. The old man stands up and says, it's time for you to go. Please, may I have the stone back? Come back next week. The young man looked at him strangely. Are you serious? He goes, yes, please, it's time for you to go home. Come back next week. So the young man leaves. The following week comes back, the old man invites him in, goes to the same box, takes the green stone out of the box, presses it into his palm, then begins to tell him all the stories about what he had to endure as a young child. And again, almost an hour goes by and the young man just can't stand it anymore. He says, listen, I need this to work for me. I'm putting everything I have into this. Can you please? Just teach me about Jade. Stop telling me these boring stories. Stop talking to me about things that have nothing to do with being coming a Jade Master. I want to know how to do this. And I feel like you're abusing my interest. I want to learn how to master Jade. I didn't come here to do these things that you're asking me to do. Why are you wasting my time? The young man goes over to the same box reaches in and takes out something. And the old man tosses him a stone and the young man catches it in midair. He says, here, hold this piece of jade. The young man feels it in his hand, says, this isn't jade. And the old man smiles. There's a lot of people out there trying to sell you something. I'm not gonna sit here and twist your arm and tell you, please listen to me. Please watch my videos, please. I need the attention. I need the attention from you. I need you to love me. Because if it's really going to come down to the brass tacks of all this, I don't give a shit if any of you believe me. <laughs> I don't. I don't care if you believe me. 
Because I already know that there's an army of people all around this world, in different countries, everywhere, that are now convinced. And they're going to fuck or walk in this planet right now that would ever convince them that what they've learned from me isn't the market itself. Their results tell them. They don't need me to make another video ever again. They don't give a shit if I ever teach again. Because now they know that they know. That's empowerment, folks. That's what I want for all of you. I don't want you waiting on bated breath for me to do something new. I'm pouring myself out. That way, nobody can take what I've worked very hard for, suffered through, and ultimately have been blessed with.